Oh, we certainly did have several characters at school, and one of them certainly was substantial. It was in my form at school. C form. And he appeared one morning in the doorway because we used to take dinner money before we went down to the hall for prayers. And he opened the door and came in and he was dressed in black and white trousers, a white waistcoat, <laughs> patent shoes, and I sent him back home. I said, go home and change and come back properly dressed. On his way out, he met the head. Price, who also saw him, and uh, he was expelled. He went to the art school. He was a good artist. He uh, rang me up and said, could he come and see me? Because um, he was bringing with him the BBC. And a group came, like yourselves, in this room and they recorded a conversation between me and Vivian Stanchel, which I've got on tape. This is Radio 4 FM. Vivian Stanchel was the lead singer of the Bonzo Dog Doodah Band and more recently created the outrageous Sir Henry of Rawlinson End. But he spent his teenage years in South End, and Radio 4 has taken him back there for the first time in 30 years. Vivian Stanshall, Essex teenager to Renaissance man. Sakubona. Watcher, today I'm going down to Leon C, also South End, to seek out old friends, teachers, officers of correction, Romanes, teddy boys, rascals and dillycoys, and also my old mum. Well, she's like one of the family. Now stop it. Voices the bells. I want to revisit the scenes of my bewildering sapling years and to gawk at the South End of now. And I too want to discover quite how I was perceived by my contemporaries at South End High School for Boys and South End Art School, and why I felt the need to join gangs, be one of the boys, be manly, do something proper, have my father be proud of me, and I still do, even though he's been dead for four years. Now, I really don't think I'm alone in this. All girls are pressured to be girlish, boys will be and should be boys, and whenever possible, lift heavy things. Oh, no, you crow. I'm very liberal. I listen to Radio 4. I'm so tolerant, I let black people clip my poodle. Sweet Jesus, I'm not listening to this lunatic. Where's Radio 2? I'd rather wake up to Wogan. <laughs> teacher now, Mr. Wyatt. Shall I call him Sir? Will he thrash me for old time's sake? Oh well. Here we go. You did cause me considerable concern. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Not so much because uh, that you were vicious. You certainly weren't vicious. Mm. In fact, you were rather what I would call cherubic. A round-faced, freckle-faced, ginger-haired lad, weren't you? Yes. Oh, yeah. Pleasant to look at. <laughs> none, of, none of this pigtail and fancy glasses like you've got now. And I remember one morning there was a sudden hush, and in you came. Now, the school uniform, you remember, was grey trousers, black shoes, white shirt, house tie, and green blazer. And you appeared in the doorway with black and white check trousers, black and white shoes, a white coat, and a bow tie. <laughs> it's made a lasting impression so on my mind. So, wearing my school cap? Uh, <laughs> not indoors. No, no. not indoors. Okay. And I remember I got you by the scruff of the neck and the seat of the pants mm. and forcibly ejected you out of the door and said, go home and change and come back. I don't know. I didn't <laughs> see you anymore that day. <laughs> um, we didn't have many eccentrics at school. The system wouldn't allow it, would it? Mm. And you were 
let's face a it. Stiff conservative school in many respects. And an eccentric, a very pleasant eccentric. We've had other eccentrics at the school, mm. but I think you're the best. I, think I don't know you, quite you how to take that. Fine <laughs> colours. Mm. In some years afterwards, when you were running your band, mm. we had boys at school that thought you were the most eminent of the, all the old South Indians. <laughs> <laughs> Imagination but you went man. to the art school for us, didn't you? Do you have the foggiest idea why it was that I was um, booted up? I on? haven't... I don't think Francis mm. Price, the head, I can imagine... <laughs> we, didn't, didn't quite... we didn't hit it off. No, no. no. And um, he was a bit balmy. <laughs> <laughs>